Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry this video took so long, but between work and kids, I've had a lot to do. So, uh, today we're going to talk about upgrading the um, AT10 from Radiolink. It's uh, actually easier than the AT9. Um, the only thing you really need to do is copy a bin file, the upgrade file that the, the Radiolink has on their website. Just download it and then just copy it into the radio. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So let me put the camera right here. So here we go, guys. Just pick up your radio. Pick up one of those smartphone cables, you know, to put on your USB port right there. Just go ahead and plug your cable. Like so. Power your radio and your uh, computer should recognize it as a hard drive there it is so I'm going to open it and there we go here's the bin file now my bin file right here is already the version 1.0.5 okay but just for purposes of this video I'm going to erase this one just delete it press delete say yes the radio will keep only one light uh, on, one LED on while it's, while it's doing that. And I'm going to copy another, um, this is a testing, um, a firmware that those guys sent me for test. It's not available yet, but I'm gonna, just going to copy it in here. Just paste it in here, just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you the LED. They're blinking red and green, I'm going to paste it and as soon as I do it will s keep a solid uh, green or sometimes it's red while, it, while it's copying it as you can see right there and as soon as it finishes copying it come on it's an EEPROM so it's kind of slow so it's done as you can see the radio starts blinking again so you just power cycle your radio turn it off or down take your USB cable out and just plug it on again and there you go the new uh, version the new firmware I'm just gonna reverse everything again just so you guys can see that it actually works so I'm just gonna plug the um, USB cable again with me okay here we go power the radio computer recognizes it open the folder delete this one that I, that I just copy it into it I'm gonna press yes yes it stays solid green and then it's actually faster when it's deleting the file that's already there just go ahead and select the um, version 1.5 that you can download from their, their website, just copy, paste it on the actual drive, paste it, solid red, and almost there. And here we go, okay. So it's flashing again, red and green. Just go ahead and close your windows, doesn't matter. Power down your radio. And again, take your USB cable out and there you go. There's the new version of the software in it. So that's about it. Easier than, actually it's easier than the AT9 that requires you to install some stuff and this just go ahead and copy the file into it and that's it my advice is that you keep the oh here's an, uh, another issue um, first of all this will only work with Windows 7 and XP it will not work on Windows 8 and um, uh, 10 if you if you have it installed on your computer so Windows 8 and 10 does not work 
it will recognize a drive, but you try to, to delete the file and it, will, it just won't delete it. Believe me, because I've been trying to do that with my laptop over there and it just didn't work. That one has Windows 10. This one has Windows 7. So it doesn't work. So go ahead and um, do this on a Windows 7 uh, computer, okay? And some other advice that I'm going to give you is that do not uh, actually delete the, for all of you guys that got uh, version 1.03, I think, don't delete it. Just copy it outside, just, you know, uh, just in case anything goes wrong or something goes wrong with the, uh, something's wrong with the up, uh, upgrade file or the bin file, the new bin file, just go ahead and copy it and save it um, because, you know, you never know. So this is it guys, um, easy peasy, uh, the procedure of updating your um, AT10 from Radiolink. Um, stay tuned, some more videos are, are coming up on how to configure this one up with a NASA light that I got over here. Um, this is a version 2 NASA light. It's, it was a version 1 up, upgraded to version 2. So yeah, um, sorry about that. So keep uh, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to configure that on SBus and on I think PPM. NASA will do PPM, I believe. So yeah, just bear with me, guys. I've been having a lot of work, and I'm going to post those videos as soon as possible. So guys, for now, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.